thanks so much for joining me today. I have a small haul to share with you. I've been buying a few things over the last few months, and so I thought I'd share them with you today. I bought this set of stickers, um, Celebrate You, and it's got, I've got a birthday coming up in December, so it's got birthday things on, and then I'll show you what else is inside. I bought these from Take a Lot in South Africa, so I don't, I can't send, I can't put a link um, to Amazon. So that's got the first ones with Hippie Puree and things on, and then it's got various other sentiments that one could use, and then it's got numbers, and then it's got cute little pictures. So. These are nice to decorate planners with and things like that. I also bought myself some new cloth, which is actually plastic tablecloth. <laughs> and I thought I can play a bit with my grandchildren with whiteboard markers and see if they want to try colouring. But other than that, I quite liked the look of them. Then I've fallen onto the matchstick mouse thing and it's my first matchstick mouse book and this is the summer one which I'm really excited about all of you know the matchstick mouse books by now by Morgan O'Brien but this is my first matchstick mouse one that I've got it looks super cute really excited to color in that I love this one <laughs> And then I got another matchstick mouse. This is the Christmas coloring book. It's also super cute. Then I got my also first, I think this is Larisa May. Where did I see the name? She doesn't put her name on it very well. I think I had to go to my order to find it. Yes, Louisa May. Um, coloring book. I've been sort of enabled to try her by Jamie because she always says that her pictures are so cute. And I like Jamie. I absolutely love chibi pictures and cute pictures generally. This one makes me think of me in an opera. I bought this Curvy Girls because I'm a somewhat curvy girl myself, so I liked, I love that she's got sass and pizzazz and she's still a curvy girl. So it looks super cute. And then I was super excited, so if there are other South Africans watching, I found an online place where you get these at a hundred and... 28 rand or something which is a very very good price because it's much more when you get it imported from the uk and i've not been able to find this at pick and pay or checkers or cna or anywhere and um it came within about a week of ordering so if any south africans are watching and are interested in coloring heaven magazine this is a magazine um online place and um, they've got all sorts of magazines that you can order both international and local magazines but I didn't have this coloring heaven super cute absolutely gorgeous images these of course are the Christine Karen ones please let me know in the comments if you find this background too disturbing because looking at me showing you the books on top of this it's a bit too much maybe perhaps I should just go plain then I spoiled myself because I was really worrying about running out of my sparkle pops. So I bought myself this Pentel set, make it pop, and it's got all the sparkle pops. So that's really exciting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sparkle pops. I don't know if that's all, I'm presuming. And 
then it's got these, which I was a bit disappointed because I'm not a great neon fan. And I usually find neon gel pens skip a lot when you use them. So I'll try them out and let you know what I think. If you'd like me to do a video trying these products out, then let me know. But I suspect you all know them pretty well by now. And then all the Milky Pops. And I'm very pleased about this because I've had the Milky Pops before and the white was damaged when it arrived. And this one is fine. So I'm very pleased and it seems like a really nice white gel pen. So I'm very excited about that. And then another thing that I was very excited about is I've been seeing the, the Himi gouache and the jelly cups of gouache everywhere. And it just seemed too expensive all the time for me to get from Amazon because it's a heavy product and so the shipping costs about almost double the cost of the product so and then still pay import duties so I decided not to get that so I found this Artex jelly gouache this is the largest size they had on take a lot but again, if any South Africans want me to find the link and share with you, I'll do that. And I'm going to do a video. No, I don't know if I will, because I don't want to open them all. I will open them as I use them. But it comes with the colours. And then just... And then they like the other jelly gouache once one sees online I haven't actually opened this or any so I will open as I want to try them because I'm so scared of them drying out too much so I got that so I'm not going to do a product review on them and I got another one of these Artex ones which I really like and these appeal to me these are the pastels and what appeals to me about these is they're all in individual little containers, which I'm really hoping will keep them wet and moist. So these, if you would like me to do a review on, I'm happy to do. And I'm going to see how it all goes and maybe I'll get other colors. There are two sets of these available. And I got this one, which is the second set because the other one seemed to be the colours that I was getting in the jelly cups. And so that's quite a lot of products I've got and I'm very excited about them all. And I've come to the end of them now, so let me spread them out for you. Very thrilled about them all. And all my washes. It's a lot of stuff for me. Put that out and my gel pens. And I'd like to say thanks so much for watching the video and thanks for joining me. And I wish you a colourful and wonderful day. Bye bye.